G'day everyone, Uncle Jojo, great to see you all again. Each one of these marks is going to be where the starter bars are put, or Rio bars put, for our retaining wall. So the Rio bars are bars or reinforcement bars that are positioned in such a way and then core filled with mortar so we can ensure the integrity and strength of the wall. We've just painted all of our marks again. So we've got a, every 250, we've got to drill in a starter bar that goes from the ground or the concrete slab all the way up. And this wall will be solid filled as we're going. When you have a retaining wall like this, you need to make sure that you get it engineered specifically for the area. You have to get it engineered. If you don't get it engineered for the area, each area changes. We've been through soil. If you haven't seen my soil videos before, check out, check it, check it out. The soil videos, different types of soil has different reactions. If we have different reactions, then what's gonna end up happening is one brick wall that suits one area will not suit another and if we put it in place it can crack and split and fall apart so ensure that the detail that you've got for the wall or the retaining wall or the structural member that you've got does suit the area that you're building it for or in that was just my helpful handy <laughs> hint yeah break it on down jojo so stay tuned and I'll show you how we go with the starter bars all the way through. We've got to get these done tonight, so we're a bit under pressure before the bricky gets here tomorrow. So we've done 18 holes, 40 mil bit, 32 MPA. We've gone through two batteries. The hammer drill itself is really hot. It's not gonna do exactly what we need to do for an electric drill, that's for sure. Electric drills have the power source of the electricity. So they don't cut out unless the actual electricity cuts out. Whereas a cordless drill or a battery drill only has the power source of the battery. There's quite a few of these on the market now that have dual batteries and they have a 32 volt. So they're double the strength of this. We're a bit under pressure, as I said before, we've got the bricky here. So we've got to get this done tonight. I might have to run over to the factory and go get my Bulldog Bosch, which is an electric powered, which is the ant pants of hammer drills. Thanks for watching. Any questions or queries, check it, check it, check it out. I'll answer them for you whenever I can. Uh, thanks for watching and like always, stay on Real Banana Peel and I'll see you in the soup.